Have you ever fallen and felt like you were couldn't get back up or you tripped and it felt like you were knocked down and would be down there forever? Sometimes we fall because of the impact of forces that happens to us outside of our control. It feels like gravity is like taking us down or the wind may be knocking us out. I don't want us to imagine or think about what it is like for a lot of us. If you are watching and you are identified as a black woman or a black man or a black girl, a black boy, and life sometimes knocks you down and there's, it happens outside of your control by these forces and evil that we call racism. Racism is an ugly word. It's an ugly concept in this space that we occupy, and it is not new. People have been treating folks wrong for ever. If you recall in the movie, one of my favorite characters ever in the Marvel Universe, Black Panther, T'Challa. T'Challa is a king. He's a warrior. And before he has this moment of rising to become the king, he has to go through challenge day. And in challenge day, someone fights against him to challenge to be the, the new king of, the, of Wakanda. And he is challenged by M'Baku the first time. And he goes to a battle and he is knocked down. He is devastated. The people are devastated. They don't know whether or not he will get back up. And throughout the fight, you hear his sister and his mother and the crowd chanting for him. And they say, tell them who you are, T'Challa. Well, sometimes we have to be reminded when we're knocked down who we are. And so we might have been knocked down or feel knocked down right now. I know right at this moment on this Sunday, I feel so, so heavy and so tired from just being able to fight for justice and planning and working and getting up every day. And maybe you're tired because you're tired of letting people know that Black Lives Matter and it seems like they're ignoring you. But you need to remember who you are and whose you are. Remember who you are. Get up and you can fight with Holy Spirit. I'm gonna ask um, a few of my friends to help me really, really help drive this in, who are a little bit younger than I am, who can might, who might be able to help convince you that you ought to tell the world who you are. And remember, remember that you can do this and you don't have to do it alone. We are not fighting alone. Uh, remember, fight. No matter how bad things get, no matter how many times you try, fight on. And we are not alone, y'all. We're not alone. We've got a friend in Jesus there, right there with us. I've been fighting my whole life. I know you have been fighting your whole life, but we have not been fighting alone. Let's continue to fight. Let's continue to show the world who we are as people. Let's continue to love one another. And despite all of the things going on in the world right now, let's continue to give God the praise because he is worthy to be praised. Let's never question his judgment. His plan is the best plan. Let's continue to fight on for our people and for God. Let's do it, y'all. Let's fight on. Amen. God bless you all. Hey everyone, I'm Ronnie Wilson, and I just want to say that as we battle these two diseases of COVID-19 and racism, that it's definitely okay to feel sad, angry, scared, or even confused because honestly, no one has the answer to everything. All we can do right now is stay involved and stay safe and healthy. Whether that's pushing the Black Lives Matter movement on social media or doing our civic duty to vote, we can be the change that America needs. I mean, I'm down for it. Are you? If so, let's do it. Oh my gosh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you so, so very much for helping us to remember that we don't have to fight by ourselves. That Holy Spirit, God, Jesus Christ, or the whole entire Trinity, calls with us and fights with us, stands in front of us, stands on the side of us, and behind us and we can be these warriors 
Um, I have a figurine that I got from South Africa years ago. My Maasai warrior gives me the confidence sometimes that you can go out and fight and we can hold up the signs. We can do things um, to let people know and share great hope with others that we are not alone, that we have our brothers and sisters, our families standing with us, those who have gone before us, that we can fight because we have warriors on our side as people of God, as God's beloved, as God's beautiful black children across this entire globe. We are not alone and we can stand up against the evil forces in this world and tell them who we are. Who are you? I am a child of God. Who are you?